Hello friends, welcome to Vivid Kemi YouTube channel. This is Vidya Shri. In this video, I will be discussing about arithmetic progression and also we will see how we can find the first term as well as the common difference for any arithmetic progression and also finding of the nth term of the given arithmetic progression. Consider the list of numbers given here. A is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. B, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and so on. And list C, 100, 70, 40, 10 and so on. Each of the numbers here in the series, we call it as term. So in the given list of number, each number is called as term. In this first list, if you check, each of the term is one more than the term preceding it. That means if you add one to the first term, one, you will get two. Then you add one to this two, you get three. Means each term is one more than the preceding term. In the list B, if you check, each term is obtained by adding 1 to the previous term. When you add 1 to minus 3, you get minus 2. When you add 1 to this minus 2, you get minus 1. And when you add 1 to minus 1, you get 0 and so on. So whenever you add one term to the previous term, you will get the next term. In list C, when a term is subtracted by 30, you will get the next term. 30 is subtracted from 100, you get 70. When you subtract 30 from 70, you get 40 and so on. So, what you can see in the list is that the successive terms are obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term of the series. Okay. So, this is what we call as arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. So if you check the list of numbers that is given here, the series or the list A is given by adding 1 to the first term and continuing in the same way. Same way the list B is obtained by adding 1 to the first term. Next you add 1 to the next term and proceeding in the same way you get list 2. Same way in list C. What we have added is minus 30. Right? So when you add minus 30 to 100 you get 70. Minus 30 you add to 70 you get 40 and so on. So this is how we do it. I told adding a fixed number to the preceding term. So this fixed number here we call it as common difference. The fixed number is called as common difference and this common difference it can be positive negative or it can be zero as well so the common difference of ap is a fixed number which we add to the each term so as to get the next term it can be positive negative or it can be zero the first term of AP we will denote it as A1. So this is the first term and the second term we will denote it as A2. Continuing in the same way the nth term we will denote it as AN. Then the common difference D can be written as A2 minus A1 or it is equal to A3 minus A2. And so on. This can also be written equal to a n minus a n minus 1. So whenever you subtract the next term from its preceding term, you get common difference d. The general form of an arithmetic progression can be written as a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d and so on 
where a is first term and d is the common difference so in order to write an arithmetic progression we need to know first term and the common difference and ap which has finite number of terms is called a finite arithmetic progression and an ap which do not have a last term is known as infinite ap so we have finite arithmetic progression and infinite arithmetic progression finite arithmetic progression is one which is having finite number of terms and the arithmetic progression which do not have last term which do not have last term is infinite arithmetic progression say if we are given with first term as 6 and its common difference is given as 3 then the arithmetic progression is it is 6 then the next term is 6 plus 3 it is 9 the next term is 6 plus 2 into 3 with respect to the general form that is 12 and the next term is 15 and it will continue like this so this is how you can write an arithmetic progression when you are provided with the first term and the common difference so now we are provided with list of numbers for example 6 3 0 -3 now we have to check whether this is an arithmetic progression or not so what we will do we will take the common difference i'll find out a2 minus a1 so it is 3 minus 6 and it is minus 3 i'll also find a3 minus a2 so that is 0 minus 3 and the difference comes out to be minus 3 Similarly, a four minus a three that is equal to minus three minus zero comes out to be minus three. So here you see that the common difference is same in between all the terms. So difference is minus three. So this list of number is also an arithmetic progression with the first term three. The common difference is minus three. now we will see how we can find the nth term of an arithmetic progression say the first term we have denoted it as a and now the nth term we will denote it as an an represents nth term of the arithmetic progression so sometimes it can also be denoted as l so this an or l that represents n the term of an arithmetic progression and it is given by an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so this expression that helps us to find the nth term of the arithmetic progression and the expression is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where an is the nth term of ap a is the first term n is the number d is the common difference so if we know the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic progression we can find out the nth term of the ap now we will see few problems related to the first term common difference as well as finding of and the term of arithmetic progression and how we can solve those problems so the question is to find the 10th term of the arithmetic progression 2 comma 7 comma 12 and so on so here in the question it is asked us to find the 10th term means a 10 we have to find and they have given the first term is 2 common difference we have to find so d is 7 minus 2 that becomes equal to 
So a ten we have to find means the n value is ten. Okay, we will apply the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. N is ten. Tenth term we have to find, and the first term is two. N is ten. So ten minus one into d is the common difference. That is five. So this is two plus nine into five. So it is two plus forty-five, which is equal to forty-seven. Therefore, the tenth term of the given arithmetic progression is forty-seven. The next question: Which term of the arithmetic progression three, eight, thirteen is? Two forty-three. So they have given a term, and we have to find which term is that. So we will consider a n as two forty-three. We have to find the value of n. And in the given arithmetic progression, a value is three, and d is eight minus three, which is equal to five. So we will use the formula of nth term. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. n value we have to find and the term that they have given it is 243 first term is 3 n value we don't know we have to find common difference is 5 we'll simplify this 243 is equal to 3 plus 5n minus 5 so this is 5n minus 2 which is equal to 243 and 5n becomes equal to 245 n is equal to 245 divided by 5 and n is equal to 49 so therefore 49th term of the given arithmetic progression is 243 next question how many two digit numbers are divisible by 3 So first of all, we will list down the two digits number that are divisible by three. So two digits number begins from eleven, and eleven is not divisible by three. Therefore, the number two digit number that is divisible by three is twelve, and the next number is fifteen, eighteen, and so on. And the last two digit number is ninety nine. So that is also divisible by three. So we will include that. So these are the numbers that are Two digit and which are divisible by three. Does this list of number form an arithmetic progression? Right, they form arithmetic progression where the first term is twelve and the common difference is three and the last term of the series is ninety nine. What we have to find is how many two digits number are there. The number we have to find. So we will apply the formula of nth digit. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. A n is ninety nine. A is twelve. N we have to find common difference is three. Now we will simplify this to find out the value of n. It is twelve plus three n minus three. Ninety nine equals three n plus twelve minus three is nine. So three n is equal to ninety nine minus nine, and three n is equal to ninety. N is equal to ninety divided by three, which is equal to thirty. So there are thirty two digit numbers which are divisible by three. Next question: the tenth term and the eighteenth term of an arithmetic progression are. Forty-one and seventy-three, respectively. Find the twentieth term. A twenty we have to find, and A ten is given. That is forty-one, and A eighteen means the eighteenth term that is given as seventy-three. So A ten can be written as A plus ten minus one into D. So a ten is nothing but a plus nine d. Same way a eighteen can be written as a plus eighteen minus one into d, so which is equal to a plus seventeen d, so which is equal to 
73 same way here a 10 is 41 which is equal to a plus 90 so this i represent as equation 1 and 2 so we will solve these equations 1 and 2 equation 2 also i'll write here so that it becomes easy 73 is equal to a plus 17d which is equation 2 now these are linear equations now this can be solved like this we'll change the sign so a and a gets cancelled with one another 9d minus 17d that is minus 8d so which is equal to 41 minus 73 which is minus 32 so by solving this we get d is equal to 4 this is one way of finding d so we have another method of finding d when two terms of the arithmetic progressions are given say for example ap and aq be the two terms of the arithmetic progression be the two terms of ap then difference common difference we can find by finding the difference between the two terms ap minus aq divided by p minus q so this is how you can find common difference in other way. So here AP we will consider it as A10 and AQ we will consider it as the 18th term. P minus Q will be 10 minus 18. The 10th term is 41. 18th term is 73 divided by 10 minus 8. 18 is minus 8. 41 minus 73 is minus 32 divided by minus 8 which is nothing but 4 so we get the common difference as 4 either of the method you can use whichever you feel easy that method you can use so now we have found out the common difference now we need to find the first term of the arithmetic progression in order to find the 20th term so what we will do we will consider equation 1 so 41 is equal to a plus 9d and we will substitute the value of d in this. So a plus 9 into 4. 41 is equal to a plus 36. So which means that a is 41 minus 36 which becomes equal to 5. Now we have the first term a which is 5 and the common difference d is 4. In the question, it is asked to find the 20th term. So, A20 is given by A plus 20 minus 1 into D, where A is 5. 20 minus 1 is 19 and D is 4. So, that gives 20th term of the arithmetic progression. So, simplifying, this is 5 plus 19 into 4 is 76. So, 5 plus 76 is 81. So, therefore, the 20th term of the given arithmetic progression is 81. And this is how you can solve this. I will stop the video here. In the next video, I will explain how the sum of the terms of arithmetic progression can be calculated. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time. Do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos.